we all deserve a bit of adventure in our lives, right? Well, now you can have some with Ford's latest offering, an adventure-ready, all-electric, mid-sized crossover with bold, iconic design. Say hello to the new electric Ford Explorer. It's steeped in American roots, built here in Europe for Europe. The Ford Explorer is a trailblazer both on the roads and also is just as cutting edge when it comes to staying connected on the move by wirelessly integrating your maps, your music and more. Now, it's practical as well as smart. One of my favourite features actually has to be the movable super-sized screen. It conceals a secret locker for storing valuables. So useful. Plus, if you love storage, you're going to love the mega console. It's 17 litres, no less, of smart storage for laptops, water bottles, you name it, it will fit. Well, that's a bit of a taster of what's to come, but do stay with us because it's time to head to our experts for a deeper dive into the Ford Explorer. Let's kick off with the striking, uncompromised design of the Ford Explorer. Joining me now is Jordan Demke. Jordan, thanks for joining us. Where did the inspiration come from? Well, when we set out to design the Explorer, we really wanted to design a very bold and confident vehicle, something that would really exemplify the spirit of uh, adventure and exploration. And I love the front end as well. It's a proper nod to the fact that it is a proud electric car. That's right. So. Um, that feature there on the front is what we're referring to as a, as a shield that proudly displays the new Ford Oval, which has a nice flush design and also gives a lot of width and structure to the front end um, with the interlocking lamps either side. There are also some great attributes that give it a nod to the heritage that the Ford Explorer has, but also brings it into this new EV era. Yeah, absolutely. So as we look down the body side, you can see that the car has a very powerful um, cab rear wood stance. Um, which is a nod to that powerful American SUV. Mm -hmm. uh, the styling is also quite restrained, very driven by aerodynamics. And there's a few uh, key elements that give it um, a certain athleticism to the body side, but still a very minimal restrained design. And then some really um, key Explorer features, the black A pillar with the wraparound visor-like glass, and also the um, C pillar graphic, which has always been a very um, signature Explorer uh, element, and here we've reinterpreted it in a very modern and aerodynamic way. Brilliant, I love it. Well, you've done a great job of really encapsulating that spirit of exploration, but also keeping electrification at its core. Now it's time to turn our attention to the colours, the materials, the aesthetics of the Ford Explorer. Sharifa Kalebi, if you could just tell us more about what colour has been used here. This colour is Arctic Blue, specially um, developed for the Explorer. It really supports the appearance and the architecture of the design from exterior point of view. Well, as soon as you get inside the car, what strikes you the most is the spaciousness, the airiness, the roominess. But Sharifa, what else? What was the objective when it comes to the interior? From uh, the objective, the goal from design point of view was to create a welcoming, calm digital space. It's wraparound and it's giving you like the spaceness and also it hugs you. I love that concept. I need a hug when I drive. Speaking of hugs, it looks like this car seat is hugging you as well. Tell me a bit more about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. The seat is 3D sculptured, has an integrated headrest, and we are using also the place tailored design in the middle section of the seat. You see that we have this really nice kilted design mm. and we are using also this man-made leather. We call it Sensico. And as well as that feeling of premiumness and luxuriousness, the car can also kind of reflect the mood you're in, right? Absolutely, with a different tan mood ambient lighting. You know, if you come from a really hard working day, you want maybe something calm, or you go to a concert which reflects your mood. And also on this area where you see how the light is moving, the sound bar, which is 3D sculpture, it's also giving this really new premium, nice feeling. A very minimalist feeling going on in here, but everything you need right where it needs to be. Thank you. 
Sigurd Lindmark, tell us what are the best parts about the interior in the Ford Explorer? So, Nikki, um, it's important to have versatility and flexibility mm. in order to address the huge bandwidth of customer usage profiles. Okay. Some people love to carry big parts, others a lot of smaller parts. Some people like to have the screen more integrated, others like to have them upwards. So how do you address that? And that's, that's a trick. That's kind of smart solutions that we try to, in, to in, integrate here. So let me start with the first highlight is our 15-inch Ford Sync Move screen. So this one is nicely integrated. As you can see, it really flows from the center console into the IP. And there's a lot of customers that prefer that kind of setup. It's, it's really nice. And it's also ergonomically a lot more friendly to operate. If you're typing a lot on the screen, maybe while charging, it's a really perfect position. Mm -hmm. Now, there are other customers that love to have the screen more upwards, right? So while driving, seeing on the navigation map, it's a lot better. You don't take your eyes off the road that much and they prefer it more upwards. We have done a concept that can do both, a lower position and a more upwards position to really address that bandwidth. And it can do any interim, right? So it's really versatile, flexible, and the customer can adjust. I love it. That's such a clever design. Um, and it also doubles up as something a little bit special. Tell us more. If you move the screen upwards, it opens up a storage space. And that storage space fits, I would call that medium-sized item, wallets, keys, mm -hmm. a camera, whatever, uh, valuables. If you leave your car and the screen is in the lower position, yeah. it locks. That's why we call that my private locker. So you can leave your personal belongings in the car, do your sports, and the stuff is safe. And only you with the keys can get into it. <laughs> Absolutely, and it locks automatically brilliant so you don't have to worry about it. Now the other thing that I am particularly excited about is this, the Mega Console. Tell me more. So Nikki, this is the 17 liter, as you say, Crazy Mega Console. Crazy amount of space. 17 liter is so much. You can fit laptop bags. You now can I don't believe bags. this because I find it so annoying when I have to put my laptop on the floor in the passenger seat, it moves around. There's nowhere to put my laptop. Every, every time you brake, it flows over, exactly. right? And this one really fits it nicely. It's a modular design. I show you in a sack. So it, it has inserts you can take out. Wow. Okay. You can so store it bigger. below the screen. And I show you the laptop back just as an example. You can easily fit it. You can put big bottles next to it. So again, it addresses customers that want to carry big parts, big goods, mm -hmm. but also by modular inserts, we can also structure it so it, you know, every customer can individualize this big space yeah. and 17 liters, quite a lot. And there's more to come how we structure that box. Wow, brilliant. So you got, I love it. Flexibility and versatility inside your car. How useful. Thank you. So on board, there's plenty of technology and innovation, and the infotainment system is just fantastic. Silka Sites, can you talk us through some of the best bits? Yeah, absolutely. So um, you see the huge screen, right? Yeah. It's a 15 inch, as you know already. What we offer as well is, of course, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And you can see here this massive map that shows you what's in front of you. We also have wireless charging for your phone. You can just put it in and the phone gets charged. We also have our own navigation system where we have already suggested charge stops for you. And the charge stops are charges in our blue oval charge network. And at the moment, we already have 450,000 charges. And by the end of 2024, we will even have 500,000 charges. And talking about charging, actually, um, you can also schedule your charging for overnight when you have cheaper tariffs, for example, or you can uh, set your um, departure time for tomorrow morning so that the car is heated up and you just enter a nicely cozy, warm car. I like car the sound of that. Yes. And okay. then just <laughs> go with it. Brilliant. So ultimately, all the technology on board is really helping you with the charging and, and saving money, ultimately, at Absolutely. the end of the day. Fantastic. And it's really intuitive to use this screen. It looks fabulous. 
Exactly. It's at your fingertips and with the movement, of course, you always have it like you need it and want it, right? For every height, for every sun condition, whenever you need a different yeah. adjustment, you can move it. Nice and flexible and versatile. Absolutely. Thank you, Silke. Welcome. So now it's time to learn more about the powertrain, the charging capabilities, and also I want to understand what my driver experience is going to be like in the Ford Explorer. And I'm delighted to say that here to tell us more is Bernicat with all the answers. Um, so take it away. Tell us about the Ford Explorer. There's so much to tell, Nikki, but let me start to tell you that the new Explorers introducing multiple powertrains, a rear-wheel drive and an all-wheel drive. So tell us a bit more about what it's going to be like for me as a driver to experience the Ford Explorer. Oh, Nikki, when it comes to driving, you can change the driving scenario by selecting between different drive modes. You have the option of eco, of normal, of sport and traction for the all-wheel drive models. Coming to the features, there are a lot of features or more features to tell about, but let me highlight three of them which I'm excited about. And these are the assistant lane change feature, the parking aid with the maneuvering brake assist and the clear exit, which provides you all you need for a safe driving experience, less demanding for the customer. Brilliant. And what about when it comes to practicality? The Ford Explorer is designed to be practical. Let's have a look at the trunk. Lovely. Which you can open hands-free. Very nice. And it provides you access to 450 litres of luggage volume with seats in place. So the trunk floor also provides you in that position additional space for example your charging cable. Brilliant. Thank you, Bernard. And I always love somewhere to hide my messy charging cable. Well, there you have it. All you need and more. The new all-electric Ford Explorer in all its glory. Orders will start from the end of 2023 and customers will be receiving their cars from early 2024. Prices start from under 45,000 euros. So get those orders in, not long to wait. Thanks for watching.